Hi everyone, this is Tabila Zamat and in today's video, we are going to solve some CI problems based on respiration, the chapter that we just finished. So in today's video, we are going to get a clear idea on what the CI questions might be in exams and today we are only going to solve paper one. So let's get started. In the first question, it is written that what is produced by anaerobic respiration in yeast. So we know that yeast can respire in two ways, that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. We know that aerobic respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration occurs without needing oxygen. And when yeast respires anaerobically, we know that it produces ethanol or alcohol and it produces carbon dioxide. And this is in the case of yeast. And therefore we know that yeast does not produce lactic acid and therefore it will be a cross, but it does produce carbon dioxide when it respires anaerobically. And therefore carbon dioxide will be a tick. Therefore our correct answer would be C. So let's go on to the next question. In the next question, it is written that what is produced by yeast during anaerobic respiration. Now, this is pretty similar to the first question. So we know that when yeast respires anaerobically, it produces ethanol, that is carbon dioxide, and um, ethanol, that is alcohol, I'm sorry, and carbon dioxide. And therefore, we know that our correct answer would be B, because when yeast respires anaerobically, it produces carbon dioxide and ethanol. Let's go on to the next question. So in this question, it is written that um, it, sh it shows like four metabolic processes and these are all the processes. So we are asked to find the processes that occur in muscles. So muscles can also respire in two ways. One is aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So when it respires aerobically, that is aerobic respiration, what does it produce? It produces carbon dioxide, water, and ATP, right? When it respires anaerobically and aerobic respiration, anaerobically, it produces only lactic acid. The glucose is just converted to lactic acid and ATP. So let me write that as well. And ATP, however, you, you must know that this ATP is really small compared to this ATP because here it produces the 36 ATPs and here it only produces two. Let's go, go back to the question. It is written that which of these processes is occurring muscles? The first is carbon dioxide plus water, glucose plus oxygen. This should be the reverse one because glucose plus oxygen is converted to carbon dioxide and water and thus it releases energy. So therefore four will be one of the possible answers. And then second metabolic process, it is written that glucose is converted to alcohol plus carbon dioxide. Now this occurs in the case of yeast as we have just seen in the previous questions. When yeast respires anaerobically, it produces alcohol or ethanol plus carbon dioxide. So this is yeast. It does not occur in muscles. The next one is glucose is converted to lactic acid. Now this is correct because we have learned that when the muscles respire anaerobically, it produces lactic acid and ATP. And therefore this is the correct answer. So three and four C will be our correct answer. Let's go on to the next question. So in this question, it is written that why does aerobic respiration, aerobic respiration in muscles release less energy than aerobic respiration? And we have seen in the previous question, I've said that in muscles, when they respire aerobically, it produces 36 ATPs, which is a lot more than two ATP, which is produced in anaerobic respiration. Therefore, why does this happen? Basically, during vigorous exercise, during vigorous exercise, 
what happens is that our oxygen demand, our oxygen demand becomes higher than our oxygen supply. And why does this occur? Because we need a lot of energy, our energy demand is so much that oxygen supply is not able to fulfill it. And what happens because of that? Because of that, we are forced to do aerobic with the oxygen that we do have, as well as anaerobic to make use of all the glucose to give that extra energy that we need during that vigorous exercise. Now what happens is that in anaerobic respiration, oxygen is not oxidized properly, that is lactic acid is produced. Now what happens is that when lactic acid is produced, it is not completely, it is not completely oxidized. And therefore there is still energy remains, therefore there are energy remains in lactic acid. In lactic acid and therefore we are not able to utilize all the energy that we could and that is why we only produce like two ATP. And therefore our correct answer would be D. That is energy remains trapped in lactic acid. Now let's look at this question once again, because this is a very important question. Now, why does anaerobic respiration muscles release less energy than aerobic respiration? We know that in aerobic respirations, muscles give out 32 ATP, and whereas in anaerobic respiration, it only um, gives out like two ATP. And what actually occurs in this process? Now, during vigorous exercise, oxygen demand is greater than oxygen supply, and therefore we are forced to do aerobic and anaerobic respiration both because we still require a lot of energy. And therefore, lactic acid is produced. Now, lactic acid is not completely oxidized because we do not have oxygen. And therefore, there are some energy that remains in lactic acid, and it only produces 2 ATP, which is a lot less than what we produce in aerobic aerobic respiration. I hope that you could understand this question. And let's go to the next question. What are the products of aerobic of anaerobic respiration? What are the products of anaerobic respiration in muscles? Now we know that when muscles respire anaerobically, what does it produce? It produces carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Therefore, the correct answer would be, oh, I'm sorry, it says anaerobic respiration. So when it respires anaerobically, it will only produce lactic acid, that is glucose is converted to lactic acid and ATP. Now let's go back to the question. It says ethanol and carbon dioxide, ethanol only lactic acid and carbon dioxide, lactic acid only, this would be our correct answer. Let's go to the next question. In this question, it says that what contains the greatest concentration of lactic acid? Now, lactic acid is only produced, lactic acid is only produced when muscles respire anaerobically. Other than this, lactic acid is not produced. And therefore, our correct answer would be C, because this is the only option that talks about the muscle cells during vigorous exercise. And we know that muscles respire anaerobically during vigorous exercise and thus producing lactic acid. The other options, a bottle of alcoholic drink, a loaf of freshly baked bread, yeast cells, these are all related to yeast. And we know that yeast does not uh, produce lactic acid. It only produces ethanol or alcohol when it respires anaerobically. And let's go to the next question. In the next question, it says that an athlete runs a race. The graph shows how the concentration of lactic acid in his leg muscles changes. And now how for, for how long did the athlete run? So this shows the time from the start of the race. 
and this shows the concentration of lactic acid. Now we know lactic acid is produced during vigorous exercise, right? During vigorous exercise. And since the athlete is running during the race, therefore it can be considered as one of vigorous exercise, right? The muscles are working, therefore they need a lot of energy. And that is why the lactic acid concentration goes up because the body is respiring both aerobically as well as anaerobically, producing a lot of lactic acid. And therefore the la lactic acid concentration goes up while the person is running. But then we see a curve. We see that the lactic acid concentration is falling. Now, what does this indicate? This indicates that the runner or the athlete in this case, athlete has stopped running. And because it has stopped running, lactic acid is now sent to the liver from the blood and it is oxidized with oxygen so that it can be removed from the body because we know that lactic acid is very toxic. It ruins the pH scale, it damages our enzymes. And so we know that only up to this is the athlete actually running. So our answer would be B, because we know that when the athlete has stopped running, the lactic acid concentration will be falling down because it is then oxidized and removed from our body. And until four minutes, the lactic acid concentration is going up and up and up. And therefore, we know that the athlete is going through some sort of vigorous exercise which forced him to produce lactic acid. Now, let's go on to the next question. Now, in our next question, it says that an athlete produces lactic acid in the leg muscles while running a race. After the race, he's seen to breathe faster and deeper. Now, what happens after vigorous exercise? Now, in this case, after running a race. So after running, what happens is that the lactic acid is being sent to the liver. Now, how does this occur? This occurs by the heart pumping faster because the heart has to pump the blood so that it can carry the lactic acid to the liver. So the heart pumps faster. As well as we need a lot of oxygen lot of oxygen so that we can oxidize the lactic acid in the liver so that we can oxidize it right therefore we need to breathe faster and deeper now what will be the sensor so how does this help to remove the lactic acid we know that when the heart pumps faster it takes in a lot of oxygen again and again and therefore it can oxidize the lactic acid that is being sent to the liver and therefore, our correct answer would be D, because we know when the heart breathes, when he breathes faster and deeper, the heart is being able to pump a lot more blood, which has oxygen to the liver so that it can oxidize the lactic acid. And we need that to remove it from the body. And therefore, D is our correct answer. Now let's move on to our last question for today's video. And in this question, it is written that which chemical contains energy that is released in aerobic respiration. So what happens in aerobic respiration is that glucose reacts with oxygen and thus producing carbon dioxide, water, and ADP, right? So this is the main chemical that contains energy, right? because we know that in anaerobic respiration, oxygen, oxygen is not present yet. We are able to produce a lot, produce like ATP, not a lot of energy, but still energy. Therefore, B will be our correct answer because glucose is the chemical which contains the energy and the, which is released in aerobic respiration. And that is all for today's video. I really hope that this uh, entire video was helpful to you. I tried to solve questions uh, important questions that I thought would help you to understand the concepts more properly. And we will hold health, like, um, we will hold problem solving sessions like this more in the future if it benefits you. So please let us know. 
if you want more videos like this. And thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. Bye.